Hello guys, welcome to another video by No Code Africa. In this particular video, I'm going to just go ahead and demo uh, our recently completed mobile application, which is an e-commerce mo mobile application built entirely uh, with Flutterflow without writing a single line of code. Now, before this particular application was created, first of all, I had to go to uh, Figma community to get this particular beautiful design. These are the UI UX design that makes up the entire mobile application all right so yeah you know all thanks and kudos to the person who designed this particular material this particular ui ux design and made it available for free on the figma community yeah so uh this is uh the ui ux designs for the application and it was interpreted completely inside um inside flutter flow these are all the screens that makes up the entire application if you go ahead and then click here you will be able to like you know preview all the uh pages that makes up the application so right now you get to see uh let me just resize this real quick so these are like the pages that makes up the application yeah these are all the pages uh and we have complete completed the the back end of this particular application if at all you want to learn how this was built from start to finish all you just need to do is check the description under this video you will see a link to the very first part of this particular course and uh, you'll be able to like learn how to build a complete e-commerce mobile application without having to write a single line of code using flutter flow and uh, you will be able to understand every single thing even even if you're just a beginner trying to understand how to use no code to build apps all right so so these are basically the screens uh, that makes up the entire application. I would just span through as many as possible. All right. So um, let me close this one real quick. Yeah, this is the test mode of the application. So I'm just going to go ahead and just, uh, you know, you know, sign in real quick. So I'm just going to click here. It's asking for password and I'm just going to put in my password and it's going to take me to the, the main the home page of the application. All right, so now most persons might be asking, this particular application that you have built, all right, can it run on Android? Can it run on uh, iOS? Yes, it can run on Android. It can also run on iOS devices. And another question that you might be asking me is, um, since it wasn't built by traditional programming, well, does it, will it stand the test of time? Well, the thing about the whole stuff is that we, we, we're just standing on the shoulder of Flutterflow being the giant in this case to build the application. Because if you come over here and say view code, you will be able to see all the different codes that makes up the application. So it's not like the application is actually running without code. There is actually codes behind the scene. What we are just doing is, you know, using the widgets that Flutterflow has created already to, you know, push them around, position them properly where we need to position them. And then we have like a fully completed mobile application built entirely without having to write a single line of code. All right. So that's the idea about uh, no code development. It doesn't mean that the application doesn't run on code. Of course, every single application that will have to, you know, be used in Android devices and on iOS devices has to be running on codes. But how you build it is quite different when it comes to no code, because here what we just do is basically to uh, come here and then we will be using some of the, the 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 items that we have here basically that just widgets you just get to drag them around and then use them in building your application and then you go ahead and connect it to uh, firebase which is where we store the the information that uh, your application will be using uh, whenever your users are on the application itself all right so that's basically it so let's go ahead and test the application and see how it works so now we have the home screen here all you just need to do let's say you want to filter uh for who you're shopping for let's say you want to shop for women you can just click to filter that and you see items only for women i have not put a lot of items yet for women and uh we have a couple of things for children okay just one thing actually yeah so the, the idea about this whole stuff is that you can go ahead and then uh you know clone this application and use it for your own business it's like it's completely ready to use right and of course if i told you you're interested in buying this particular uh projects like completely you can just check the link under the description of this video and you will see a link to you know buy the course from buy the application from patreon right and uh, that's about it so if you want to shop for men you just filter for men you can click here and um, you can change the sizes and uh, you know let's say yellow increase the number of quantity that you're buying as you 
increased them. It's changing the amount of money here, of course. If you reduce, it also reduces the amount of money. So I want to buy as many as possible. Okay, <laughs> so I'm buying like 10 copies of these hoodies. It's really beautiful. Then after that, I'll just go ahead and click to add to cart. When I click to add to cart, item added to cart successfully. I go back here and uh, of course, I'm going to see some items here. Okay, so I already had some items and I'm just going to, uh, I think the one I added, I don't know, I'm just going to delete some. I'm going to take this one out because I didn't just add it now. So I'm taking this one out as well. And uh, I think this is the one I added. So let's take this one out so you can just see how everything works out. So I just come back here and let's say I want to get a shoe. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and then maybe shop for this particular shoe. So I'll just come here and say medium, maybe large and color black and then increase the quantity uh, by four by a good number and then add to cart add item added to cart and if at all i just want to go ahead and filter by categories okay i can just click here to check for only hoodies this is only one hoodie here if i want to check for shots only one shot is here if i want for shoes i have a couple of shoes just three all right then if i want to shop for bags i think it's only one bag that we have here and then there is no accessory actually so zero item for accessory okay so now this is like really really beautiful and uh of course you can go ahead and check your settings address wish list payment help support of course you can go ahead and sign out uh another thing that i would like us to see here real quick is let's say the search part you can click here to just go for to different uh you know regions of the application so hoodies accessories you know uh shoes you can check them all out and then let's say you want to let's come back here let's say i just want to search for something let's say i want to search for uh hoodies generic hoodies for instance now i search for it i see just one item so you can actually go ahead and just you know search for things you can equally just check if at all it's on sale or free shipping you can check there's nothing here for that particular one so we can say uh, hoodies again and we can just go ahead and check for on sale and say uh, i think it was on sale okay no none of them is actually for on, on sale right now so we can go ahead and just uh let me just check one more item real quick there. So let's say uh, bags. Okay, so we have the Farfetch bag. And uh, let's just see uh, whether the item is free shipping or eligible. Okay, yeah, this one is free shipping. Yeah. So now this is basically how it works. You can, you know, uh, explore more parts of the application. Uh, I'm going to provide uh, a link for you to like test the application as well. Yeah, so um, this is how it looks like. And let's say I want to go ahead and purchase my item, like, you know, complete my order here. So I have like uh, these items in my cart. I can actually go ahead and then, you know, remove them. You already saw that part. And uh, I'm going to come here and just get test cards because I'm using Stripe and I'm using test uh, payment. So uh, these are like the transactions that I had previously before. These are all test transactions, please. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to go ahead and click on check, check out. You can actually either pay with Paystack or Stripe. So in this case, I'm going to be paying with uh, Stripe. So I will just click on Stripe and then it brings up this pop up and I will just go ahead and fill this. And there you go. And I'll click to pay. Wait for a few seconds. It closes that particular window, confirms if at all payment has been done successfully. And then after that, I have my order placed successfully. All right. So if you go ahead and then come back here to transactions, I can, this is 16 October and today is 17. I will just go ahead and refresh this real quick. And then you will see the successful payment that we have just made uh to our stripe account all right so um this is a ready to use application that you can use for your business like immediately so if you want to you know purchase this particular app you can just go ahead and then check uh the description under this video and then purchase the app itself so this is loading a bit slowly so i'm just going to like uh quickly refresh that hopefully it loads up a little bit fast so i think it's done okay so here this is it. I had the last item I just purchased. This amount, four thousand five hundred fourteen dollars, and the date is seventeen October nineteen seventeen. All right, which is around the time here. So now, uh, what we're gonna do right now? Okay, it's using a different kind of time actually, but it's basically today. So what we're gonna do next is just click to see orders, and we'll see the list of orders. You can filter for shipped, you can filter for delivered, and these are things that you can get to do in your admin panel, like in the. 
the CMS inside Floraflow. You can just change them there. You can check for cancel and all of that. So here are just all the successful orders with different order IDs. Okay, so um, you can click here to check for notifications. You can see your notifications here when you have actually ordered for something successfully. And this part is where you have your orders and then here is what you have for your settings. Now this application was built entirely without having to write a single line of code. And I believe that you are excited about the power of no code development and you would like to jump right into this. So if at all you want to learn how this particular application was built, you can check for the for a link on the, des the description of this video and you will see the first tutorial that will of course show you all the rest of the other tutorials that will teach you how to build this from start to finish and you can of course share it with your friends and colleagues and that particular startup founder in your team or in your community who is looking for ways to you know turn his or her idea into a minimum viable product being a mobile app or a web application without the need to code all right so um thank you very much for checking this out remember to subscribe to this youtube channel because when you do that you're basically supporting what we do here and of course like the video and share it to as many persons as possible thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video bye for now <laughs>